John 14 and 12, Jesus said, Great works have I done, but greater works shall ye do. GWC Ministries is a family-oriented ministry designed to teach God's Word. We share simplistic, practical teachings on who God is, why you are here, and where you fit in His plan. Our mission is to empower you to go forth and perform great works. I'm going to go straight to the Word of God, just two uh, scriptures today, 2 Timothy 2, 17 through 19, and Proverbs 22 and 1. Again, that's going to be 2 Timothy, 2nd chapter, 17 through the 19th verse, and it reads as follows. And their word will eat as doeth the canker, of whom is Hymenius and Philetus, who concerning the truth have erred saying that the resurrection is past already, and overthrow the faith of some. But somebody say, nevertheless, nevertheless. the foundation of God standeth sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let everyone that nameth the name of Christ depart from iniquity. Then we jump right over to Proverbs 22 and 1. All right, and it says, a good name is rather to be chosen than great riches and loving favor rather than silver and gold. Amen. So I'm just going to use a topic today, and you can repeat that to me because I'm deputizing everybody. The Lord, the Lord is deputizing everybody to do this today, especially in 2020. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Protect, protect the brand. The brand. Come on, tell us about it. on the other side. Say protect, protect the brand. The brand. Yeah. Mm -mm. We live in an era where you are. We're living in an era where you are respected. That if you are to be respected or recognized as anything, you must have a brand. Competition for the consumer's dollar has taken businesses to the point where well, they have a new single organizational goal, and that is to protect the brand. The economy has become increasingly more volatile. The market is more bullish, and the desire to maintain its place in the global economy has become priority number one. Companies have come to realize that winning the customer's business no longer hinges on just the usual drivers, cost, convenience, and quality, but it depends on the strength of his brand or its brand power. When entrepreneurs decide to launch out and start their own business, you know what, before I do that, let me, let me give you an example of that. And everybody remember Comcast, right? Some of you all might still have Comcast. Let me tell you what Comcast did. Comcast had such a terrible reputation for service, support, getting somebody to come out and change your boxes, then they, but they were charging over, overpricing, so they had a terrible reputation. And Comcast was almost on their way out. But the CEO of Comcast made a decision. He said, what we need to do, we need to look at our brand, and then we need to rebrand. You may not notice today, but they rebranded to a company now called Xfinity. Xfinity, y'all, is still Comcast. But what they realized was that if they were going to keep business and keep customers, they had to look at our brand and protect it. So we're going to put Comcast real, we're going to say Comcast real low. But we're going to rebrand ourselves Xfinity. And Xfinity now has some of the highest customer service rates. They have increased their volume of customers. I myself am an Xfinity customer. And I'm satisfied with my service. But if I would have stayed with the first brand... I probably would not have still had it. So protecting the brand, people of God, 
is what we need to do in 2020. Now, when entrepreneurs decide to launch out and start their own business, they know they need to create a brand that best reflects their business, its values, its product. The brand must represent them in such a way that people recognize it, respect it, and they trust it. It was a time that we had certain brands we all familiar with, GE, Ford, Chevy. You know, they used to say, my daddy drove a Ford. My son drives a Ford. We are a Ford family. Some say, you know what? We, all of our appliances we got from GE. Nowadays, you want to make sure you get a brand that you can trust when you get a TV. You want to make sure you get a Samsung. A Sony, something for when you start seeing all them off brand names, suddenly you don't. And look, here's the thing you didn't even use the off brand TV yet. But because the brand didn't, you didn't recognize the brand, you said, I'm not even going to take a chance. So you go back to the brands that you were familiar with. So businesses want their brand to be respected and people to trust it. And you know what? Brands must strike a chord with the person. Brand evokes an emotion. You are, when you go to buy something and you see a certain brand, there's an emotion you feel. That's why they try to guard you against emotional shopping. Because when you see that brand, then emotions rise up and you want that product because you know it's a good product brand and not only that a brand it builds a sense of loyalty it promotes everybody say it promotes it promotes repeat business and returning clients not only returning clients but clients that will recommend them to others your brand is no good if it don't inspire somebody to recommend it to somebody else I'll tell you a little stat, little stat. You know, I do customer service, and one of the things we tell people is this. Most people, if they have a good experience, they'll tell maybe two or three people. But if they have a bad experience, they'll tell six to ten. So it's very important that the brand that you have is good so that those people that it will inspire will recommend you to somebody else. And, you know, we have a few entrepreneurs here in our church, I believe, who could testify that protecting their brand is the difference between success and failure. If your church or event needs the best audio sound quality, mic system and speaker setup, then you need to check out Yo Sound Productions by Yolanda Bateman. Ah, you need a floral arrangement, uniquely designed with you in mind, with the snowflake effect, where no two arrangements are ever alike. You need to check out Lady Eyes Chatting Buds by First Lady Iris Reed. You want to create the ultimate decorating and catering wild effect at your next baby shower, birthday party, New Year's bash, or anniversary event? You need to check out C&D Creations by Carolyn and Darlene Harvest. Now these are all great and up and coming businesses. But they all have one thing in common. They know that to experience continued growth, they must protect their brand at all costs. Look at somebody and say, protect the brand. Now listen, as a customer service manager and trainer for probably over the last 25 years, I've always been tasked with training the new hires that brand protection is not relying on the product or the service alone, but it relies on the employees that deliver this service, sell the product, and who represent the brand. I want to help the young people real quick. Young people, let me help you get your good job and keep it. I went from city to city teaching a social media training class. You got to be careful what you post on your social media sites. 
your Facebook and your Instagram sites. If you're applying or interviewing for a job, companies will look at your Facebook account to see things you post, the pictures you post, the things you comment, and the things you like. Say, so why are they doing these things? And all why these things are your right to do, they want to see if you're the type of person that they can trust to protect their brand. Not only on the company property, but when you're away from the company too. So my job was to explain the company's social media policy so folks who got the job could keep the job. You may say it's wrong, it's unfair, it's your business, but in a world where over 50 different companies offer the same service, product, food, or clothes, they can't afford to let you come in and destroy their brand. Tell somebody again, we got to protect the brand. This ID right here, it's my FedEx ID. FedEx is a known brand. FedEx is such a known brand that it's actually become a verb. People come in and they, you know, you overnight express something. That's the service. But when people come in, they say, I need the FedEx something. But the name of the company is FedEx. The service we provide is Overnight Express, but they come in and say, can I FedEx this? Because it's such a recognized brand that they know when they need to get it someplace fast and quick, they said, I can go to FedEx and get it done. So when I carry this ID, one of the things they tell us is, when we give you this, and as a manager, we are expecting you to make sure you do everything to protect our brand. Because, see, what, what, what does that mean? See, if I'm out acting crazy somewhere, you don't know who's around. It could be somebody from FedEx. And they say, oh, that's a FedEx employee. That's how they act. And it gets back and somebody will say, yeah, them FedEx people are crazy. I'm going to go to UPS instead. So I have a responsibility. One time I was in Plano, Texas for a training. And we were all down in the lobby. And one of the things is I got this little hotel lobby fetish. You know, I know it sounds weird, but I, I just love a beautiful hotel lobby. And, and if you're looking for me in the hotel, don't, don't knock on my door. Go down into the lobby. And, and we was in this beautiful lobby in Plano, Texas. And some of the folk that was with me in my class, they were starting to cut up a little bit. And, and somebody came over to me and they said, Steve, Steve, did, did you know that Kim Dixon, the COO, is in the hotel? No, why they came to tell me I wasn't cutting up. But they said she's in the hotel. She's got some folk here in town that she's doing a presentation for. I immediately passed and told everybody in my class, I said, get it together. I said, because right now, Kim, the COO is in the building, and we cannot afford to, to taint the brand. We'll lose our job if she find out we down there and we representing FedEx. So what am I trying to say all this for? Why is this important for us to protect the brand? Because you know what? Branding is no different in the church now. Even a church's success can hinge on how well they protect their brand. Sometimes it doesn't matter how well the pastor preaches, how known the choir is, how beautiful the edifice is. The church is subject to fold and go under if the people inside the church don't do their part to protect the brand. The Lord wants to tell us that it's time for the church to start protecting the brand. A lot is going on in the world now in the government where church is being under attack for everything we believe, everything we've been taught, everything we've known. We're under attack and God is looking for somebody that's going to stand up and protect his brand. And I'm going to say this. I, I, can I can't tell you how many times I talk to folks at Big Name Ministries 
with the big name pastor. One that's highly respected and has a good name in the community. But because of how the member conducted themselves, how they talked on the metro train. We got any metro riders here? You find out a lot about church folk on the metro. And I would listen and I hope that they wouldn't even say the name of their church. And if they just said the name of the church, I said, God, please don't let them say the name of their pastor. But far worse than saying the name of their pastor, they said the name of their God. Now, we can't just get upset and, with how they taint the brand of their pastor or their church. We got to get upset when they take the name of Jesus. See, because I don't know how your pastor act, but I know how my Jesus acts. And if you calling yourself one of his, and you talking and acting like that, then I have to go to my text where Paul was telling young Timothy, folks in your church are confusing people. I need you, Timothy, to get down there and tell the people they got to protect the brand. Hymenius and Philetus were spreading lies about the timing of the resurrection and turning people away from the truth. Paul made it clear that, hey, don't get it twisted now. They may be spreading lies, but the foundation of the Lord stands sure. There is a seal, and guess what? That seal is a brand that causes God to know who are his. He's looking for those who will stand up and protect the brand. And how does he know? He knows because he said everyone that names or lay hold to the claim of Jesus has departed from iniquity, have departed from sin. So you don't just protect the brand by what you say, but how you live your life on a daily basis. Years ago, come on, y'all, y'all parents, y'all know this. They, they told us too. We used to tell our kids, you watch how you act. When you go out, when you go over to so-and-so's house, don't you, don't, don't you get up there over there cutting up because you got my last name. Uh-uh, so you, you ain't about to mess up my name because the way you act, they're going to automatically associate that to me. So did, look, did, did, they, did your parents tell y'all that? Uh-huh, we, we need to tell them that now. Don't get out there doing anything you want to do and you got my last name. It took us years to get that name right. And them kids will mess your reputation up in one visit. No, no, you, 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 you not finna mess up the brand. Uh-uh, see, see, you, 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 you a Smith. You a Jones. And, you know, people have come to expect a certain behavior from the Joneses or the Smiths. Listen, y'all, all mama and them was trying to tell us was, Lus, baby, protect the brand. That's all she was trying to tell us. Our brand, the church that's under attack, our statement of faith is under attack. Our Holy Ghost belief is under attack. But like companies who are depending on their workers to protect the brand, Is depending on us in this evil world to protect his brand. Read simple, our pastor is depending on us to protect our brand. Listen, don't worry about what other churches are doing. You, you, you protect our brand. You, 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 you protect what Reed Simple stands for. God is depending on us as members that it don't matter, you got to understand, ministries, y'all, going to come and go. They're going to pop up and they're going to go down. But the success of any ministry is how well the members, somebody say, the members. Point, point to yourself and say, I'm talking about me. How well the members protect the brand. See, our brand is God's brand. God's brand is holiness. God's brand is righteousness. God's brand is sanctification. 
loving each other, encouraging one another, lifting each other. When you do these things, God says, I recognize them. Why? Because they protected my brand. So we got to be careful how we treat one another. You know, we just can't act any way we want to act. Not when we save. Come on now. We can't just do everything we want to do and we save. Sometimes your feelings, sometimes your friends want to tell you to do this and do that. And listen, Stacey, sometimes young people, they say, uh, well, your friends say, well, why you can't do that? And why you can't go there? And why you can't hear that? You got to tell them, listen, now you might not understand this, but I can't do that stuff you doing. Why? Because I got to protect the brand. God is depending on me to represent him well. And I'm sorry, I'm not saying I'm better than you. I'm not saying I'm above you, but I can't be like you because I got a brand to protect. And, and, and I'm just about done, Pastor. <laughs> I'm going to say this other part. See why I talked about that good name. See, listen, y'all. It used to be a time when your name meant something. You know what? In, 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 in the business world, they used to say it's not what you know. You know somebody? They got a good name. That's the one's gonna get you in there. Say, say, Elder Reed, I, I, I need to know if I can use your name as a reference. You know, because maybe perhaps I might have some of the skills they're looking for, some of the ability, but so does everybody else. But see, I'm looking for something that can put me over, over the competition. So I might need to use your name because your name, as Proverbs said, is better than riches. A good name is better than riches and love and favor than silver and gold. See, y'all, we got to protect the name of Jesus because, see, God gave him a name that was above every other name. That at the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow, every tongue shall confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He said, in my name, it's going to be some benefits when you use my name. You want to cast out devils? Do it in my name. You want to heal the sick? Do it in my name. Listen, 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 I'm done. Oh, look, look, Paul, y'all remember the seven sons of Sceva, right? Listen, them boys, they got over there, and they saw that man was possessed with that devil. Ooh, that devil was tearing them up, too. And they thought that, you know, what they saw Paul could do. They figured, we'll do what Paul did. These rascals will walk up to this possessed man talking about, I adjure you by the name of Jesus that Paul used. Come out of this man. Them devil stood back up and said, listen, come here, y'all, come here. Let me explain something to you. Say, Paul I know. Jesus I know. Well, who are you? Bible said he ripped them to part where they ran out the house bloodied and naked. So you can't just use the name when you don't know the person. When, 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 when you have accepted Christ as your savior, you've been deputized to protect his brand. So when you're in the brand protecting business, that means that you're expected to behave a certain way. You're expected to represent a certain way. Church, in 2020, God is expecting us to behave a certain way. 
I don't care what they're trying to tell us in the world right now. We have to be the ones that will be the remnant and stand up and say, I don't care what y'all trying to say. What used to be right is not wrong. What was wrong is not right. I know what the word of God told me, and I'm going to stand on that because I have a commission to protect the Last point. David. See, let me explain y'all something about David. Everybody felt like David angered God mostly because he committed murder and adultery with Bathsheba. And all those things, Yolanda, were wrong. But see, that wasn't really the only thing that upset God about David. He said, David, why I'm really mad at you is, is because you gave the enemy an occasion to blaspheme. In other words, David, you caused the enemy to be able to say, see, I told you. Uh-huh, he ain't all of that. See, y'all saints, we got to be careful because the devil is the accuser of the brethren. And he's always standing before God trying to accuse us so we can't give him no ammunition to use against us because he will use it. And God was angry at David because, David, when you had a chance to protect my brand, you didn't. That's why he was really mad. So I want us to know, God wants us to know today, this year, come on, and I'm through this year, be careful what you do. Be careful where you go. Be careful how you act around. See, the definition of integrity is doing the right thing when nobody's looking. See, you can listen, we can all protect the brand in here, can't we? But God want to know, can he trust you with his brand outside there? On your job, in your school, in your neighborhood, when the cashier at the counter upsets you, can he trust you to protect his brand? So in 2020, new members, we thank God for our new members. But listen, new members, I just want to remind you of your job. Part of your Read Simple membership is we are expecting you to protect this brand. You are automatically deputized through your membership. Because how you act and what you go do now is going to reflect on what people think is here. And I've been here almost 29, 28, 29 years. And I've known this place to represent holiness, to represent sanctification, to represent a spiritualness that a lot of times exceeds what you see out there. And I can't afford to even, if I see you at Pastor Reed, I won't even let them taint the brand because I have a job as one of the leaders in the church to protect the brand and listen I, if I protect God's brand it's real easy to protect this brand because both of the brands are the same am I right today and I'm gonna leave y'all with that just look at somebody and just point to them and ask them the question say will you, will you protect the brand, protect the brand. say amen